A very good morning to all of you and welcome to Baidu's exam prep, the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams. As we all know from Monday to Thursday at 11 a.m. in the morning, we come up with the Hindu analysis. So today is 16th February and we are here with the Hindu analysis of 16th February, that is Thursday. Today Thursday, 16 February and its important articles we will be discussing today. So the most important article on the first page is this one, Eye on China, Cabinet Clears 7 ITBP Battalions. So we will be discussing about it, over 9,000 personals to be recruited, etc. and all. So we'll be discussing about this, this is an important article. Uh, then Tripura goes to the polls today, so there is a legislative assembly election. Legislative assembly election in Tripura. So basically the chief minister's election you can say is happening. So we'll be having, we'll be seeing the new elections, uh, the election today and the chief ministers will be there, the new chief ministers and all. So just have an idea about it, that election is happening in Tripura. And there's a small news here, Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon resigns. So just have an idea, Scottish means people from Scotland are called as a Scottish. So just pata hona chahi ke Scotland ke First Minister thi, Nicola Sturgeon, unho ne resign kar diya, bas itna pata hona chahi. Uh, this one is the most important one that you are supposed to know. Now, but before that, there's a question for you, since they are talking about vibrant village program and all. So, a vibrant village program is related with what? Uh, your options are increased mechanization in the army. The second is holistic development works that are to be taken an, uh, an, in uh, a northern bordering villages. Train to village, uh, training to village people in bordering areas. None of the above. So, your time starts now. Now, you can tell vibrant village program is related to this four. Waiting for the answers, guys. What is the right answer? Vibrant village program is related with what? Yes, uh, the right answer actually to this question is option uh, B is the right answer. Holistic development works that are to be taken in northern bordering villages. So B is the right answer. Yes, Gargi, Priya, Chavan, you all are right. So that is what the article says. I on China the cabinet clears seven ITBB battalions over 9,000 personnel to be recruited. So, so 9,000 personnel means... Uh, um, Javans maybe uh, will be recruited means uh, recruitment means Bahali just come in Hindi mein hai. for deployment in Arunachal Pradesh. So 9000 new jobs will be created. You can say 4800 4, crore sanctioned under vibrant village program to stop migration and boost tourism in border village areas. So that is what it is. So vibrant village program actually helps in development in the bordering areas, especially in the northern states. Theke? So that is what you are supposed to know. Hai na? Uh, like, why holistic development works are to be undertaken in northern bordering villages. Okay, so that is what you are supposed to know. Now, there's a question for you since Vibrant Village program uh, uh, is in the news. Can you please tell me ki when was it announced uh, in the budget 2022-23, budget 23-24, uh, budget 2021-22, uh, budget 2020-2021. Your time starts now. Okay, yes, good. Uh, in fact, Gargi has answered me uh, even before asking this question. Very good. So, this is last year budget. Hai na? So, last year, this year was budget, uh, presented. So, this was presented on 1st February 2022. And this is this year's budget, 1st February 2023 presented. Now, the answer to this question is 1 is the right answer. So, yes, uh, very good, Gargi, uh, Vishal, Kumar, you all are right. Uh, in the last year's budget, this concept of vibrant village program was announced. So one is the right answer to this question. It is written in the, uh, you can say PIP also was announced by finance minister in the budget speech of 2022 means 2022, 2023. That is what it means. Anna. So envisages uh, coverage of border village in northern areas having a sparse population limited connectivity and infrastructure. So especially in the border areas, there is a sparse population means the density is very less. Limited connectivity, the roads are not very good, perhaps uh, it's very difficult to go, infrastructure is also not very good in the bordering areas. So to promote those things, VVP, that is Vibrant Village Program is being made. Okay, so A is the right answer to this question. Rashmi Kant Oja, Vishal Kumar, you all are right, A is the right answer. Hai na? Uh, so this will be for financial year 2022-23. Uh, that is from the last fiscal year, means this fiscal year which we are in right now, to 2025-26. Okay, so holistic development are to be ta taken in northern bordering villages with an outlay of 4,800 crore. Any 4,800 crore rupiah usme kharcha kiya jayega northern bordering areas ko develop karne mein. Okay, so this will cover 662 villages in the first phase, phase and all. 
इट लीड टू इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट इन फोर स्टेट्स एंड वन यूनियन टेरिटरी तो चार स्टेट और नौ एक यूनियन टेरिटरी में उसको स्पेसिफिकली डेवलप किया जाएगा ठीक है सो नाउ देर इज अ क्वेश्चन अबाउट वन मोर थिंग सिंस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई टी बी पी देर इज अ क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ आई टी बी पी योर ऑप्शन आर इंडो तिबेतन बॉर्डर पुलिस इंडियन ट्रूप बॉर्डर पुलिस इंडियन ट्रॉपिकल बॉर्डर पुलिस इंटरनेशनल ट्रूप फॉर बॉर्डर पुलिसिंग योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ आई टी बी पी का फुल फॉर्म बताइए क्या होता है और सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो एवरी वन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन गाइज वी आर सिंग ओनली नाइन टेन लाइक्स एटीन इज वॉचिंग सो सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो वट इज द राइट आंसर सो द राइट आंसर इज इंडो तिबेटन बॉर्डर पुलिस ए इज द राइट आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन ठीक है पता होना चाहिए इंडो तिबेटन बॉर्डर पुलिस दिस इज द लोगो एंड दिस इज द फ्लैग ऑफ आई टी बी पी यस वन इज द राइट गार्गी प्रिया चवन नम्र आफ्ताब अमूल्य आयुष श्रीवास्तव यू वाला राइट नाउ There is another question since ITBP is being discussed. Another question is what is the motto of ITBP? Your options are Shorya Dhritta Karma Nishtha Nabham Sparsham Deeptam Tatmev Jayate Yato Dharmastato Jaya. What is the motto of ITBP? Your time starts now. Answer, tell me. ITBP that is Indo-Tibetan Border Police ka motto kya hai? So what is the motto? So with the help of elimination technique you can do Shorya धृतम कर्म निष्ठा इज द मोटो ऑफ आई टी बी पी नाउ इट इज वेरी इजी आई मीन देखो ये वाला आपको पता होगा दिस वन इज बिलोंग्स टू विच इंडियन एयरफोर्स राइट दिस वॉज आज इन एम एच सी टी दिस हैज बीन टेकन नभम स्पर्शम दीपम हैज बीन टेकन फ्रॉम वेयर सो इट इज भागवत गीता हाँ टू इज ऑफ इंडियन एयरफोर्स वेरी गुड रश्मिकांत हाँ वन इज द राइट आंसर प्रिया चवन विशाल अमूल्य आयुष युवाला राइट सतमेव जाते इज एक्चुअली अ पार्ट ऑफ नेशनल एम्बलम इफ यू हैव सीन इट केयरफुली ऑन द on the uh, 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 actually uh, when you see the that ashoka ashoka line and uh, uh, below it you will find this satmev jayate written yato dharmastho to jaya this was asked in elet exam anyone can anyone tell me this is a motto of what the option 4 yes very good gargi has answered it yato dharmastho to jaya is the motto of supreme court of india theek hai okay yes so uh, the right answer here is one is the right answer to this question hai na shorya dhritta karma nishtha valor steadfastness and commitment uh, this is the english translation go and find out it has been taken from where which uh, literature kahan se ye liya gaya isko find out kijiye yes d ka supreme court hai ha right very good and rashmi kant amolya devraj you all are right ha priya chavan yes d is the right answer so this is actually the dress of itbp slightly brownish color ke hote hai na so greenish brown mixed and all so they are actually mostly posted in these regions especially in china border so here somewhere you will find here yahan pe milega yahan par yahan par and now mostly actually you will find in india china border itbp indo tibetan border police you can understand this region is tibet right so when i am saying the word in itbp indo tibetan border police it means it must be having india and tibet border it must be around it so this region this region this region and this region right अरुणाचल सिक्किम देन हिमाचल उत्तराखंड एंड लद्दाख यूनियन टेरिटरी राइट सो दैट इज व्हाट इट इज बीइंग डिस्कस्ड एंड यहां पे बात भी कही गई थी फोर स्टेट्स एंड वन यूनियन टेरिटरी विल बी गेटिंग बेनिफिट द फोर स्टेट्स एक दो तीन चार फोर स्टेट्स एंड वन यूनियन टेरिटरी लद्दाख वुड बी गेटिंग बेनिफिट ऑफ वाइब्रेंट विलेज प्रोग्राम है ना अभी मैंने बताया भी था and and in this article they have written ki uh, uh, 9000 personnel will be recruited yani bahali hogi yani uh, recruitment hoga more number of appointments will happen that will be deployed in arunachal pradesh region so i have told you yes in the bordering with china so there uh, there here also the itbp will be deployed 4000 crore 800 crore has been sanctioned for vibrant village program to stop migration and boost tourism so jo bordering areas hai na jo ye sab bordering areas yahan pe log rehte honge so people try to migrate away to wahan par taki wahi pe wo log rahe unko promote kiya jaye so the development works that needs to be promoted in these bordering areas actually a vibrant village program is being developed theek hai taki wahan pe rahe wahan pe migration wahan se log hate nahi so the development will happen and all that is what the idea is theek hai and tourism boost kiya taki log wahan jaye tourism so the economy will function there and all theek hai so tourism se bahut fayda hota hai na the economy is generated so it causes employment and all theek hai किसने क्लियर किया सीसीएस ये याद रखिएगा कैबिनेट कमिटी ऑन सिक्योरिटी नाउ देर अ क्वेश्चन आफ्टर द क्लास इज ओवर गो एंड फाइंड आउट हु इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ कैबिनेट कमिटी ऑन सिक्योरिटी 
and how many other members are there baki log members ke bare mein pata kijiye ka so there are lot of actually cabinet committees hoti hai jaise appointment committee of cabinet hoti hai cabinet committee on economic affairs cabinet committee on political affairs cabinet committee on uh, security so these are the committees i think seven hai seven ya nine hai check kar lena how many cabinet committees are there right now seven eight nine ke aas pass generally hoti hai so right now we are having cabinet committee on security has cleared this so go and find out who is the chairman and who are the other members of this committee theek hai yes now let's move on further uh ab ye ko isme baat kiya gaya seven itbp battalion so what is battalion so uh, anyone from uh, those who are from army field they are knowing much uh, about this what is battalion but aap samajh sakte ho it will it is a sort of a unit of army army ya uh, tapf itbp jo hota hai na wo army ki part nahi hoti itbp is actually generally considered as uh, itbp is generally considered as one of the capf we use this word central armed police force Uh, it is not exactly army you can say it is between army and police theek hai to capf jo hota hai central armed police force ye aap ek tarah samajh lo ki police aur army ke beech hi cheez hai theek hai like this you can understand in a simple fashion ha yes pm chairman right ha very good ha yes very good amolya rashmikant good ha pcs ke chairman pm hote hain ha so a battalion matlab wahi hua so it's a unit of army i think uh, there are maybe somewhere around 300 to 1200 somewhere uh, members are there in one battalion ab check kar lena there is regiment then battalion there are different units in army theek hai so those who are from army field uh, they will tell you more about it ki battalion mein aur regiment mein kya farak hota hai now on the first page uh, tripura goes to the polls i have told you the scottish foreign minister uh, nicola sturgeon resigns so just have an idea itna pata hona chahiye uh tripura assembly elections polling begins in all 60 constituencies so the election is happening and here is tripura what is the capital of tripura can anyone write in the comment and who is the current chief minister of tripura i mean before the election who was the chief minister unka naam aap find out kijiye ki chunav se pehle kaun chief minister the abhi to election ho raha hai lekin aapko pata hona chahiye and what is the capital of tripura go and find out so the tripura's capital is agartala hai na and the chairman and the head of uh, the chief minister of tripura is your homework okay go and find out okay uh, before that guys there is a small announcement uh, 19th february 11am in the morning we are running a scholarship program uh, get up to 90% scholarship on our preparation program if you qualify this you will get up to 90% scholarship on this course uh, where we are providing a 300 plus recorded videos 300 plus hours of live session 35 plus mock tests monthly magazines etc If you have query, call on this number nine five three double eight nine five six seven eight. Is per call करना है. Yes, Mr. Manik Sah is the Chief Minister. Very good. अगर ताला is the capital. Yes, Rashmi Khan, Vishal, Amol, Ya Gargi, all are right. Good. Very good, Zoya Khan. चलो आप लोग काफी अच्छा तैयारी चल रही है आप लोग की. Very good. So I am happy that you you all are prepared. है ना? मतलब ऐसा लग रहा है कि हाँ आप लोग की तैयारी अच्छी. जब भी हम सवाल पूछते हैं, most of the answers come. So editorials एक दो तीन चार ये चारों editorial है. Manifesto for tackling silent pandemic of AMR. पैंडेमिक आप देखो इतना बार पैंडेमिक डिस्कशन हुआ है फॉर द पास टू इयर्स दैट वी ऑल नो व्हाट इज पैंडेमिक साइलेंट मींस कोई हल्ला हंगामा नहीं है नहीं नो वन नोस कि दिस इज आल्सो अ पैंडेमिक व्हाट इज दिस सो शी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट एएमआर व्हाट इज दिस एंटी माइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय दिस एंटी माइक्रोबियल रेजिस्टेंस हाउ कैन दे सिंपल भाषा में बताते हैं आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग इन अ वेरी सिंपल लैंग्वेज इट मींस Okay, let's say there is a disease. For example, if someone is having a disease called as TB, tuberculosis, and there is a disease, uh, there is a medicine called as X medicine. I'm just giving an example. So X medicine is used in case if someone is having a tuberculosis disease. But the problem is it becomes ineffective. So if someone is taking X medicine, it is not working on the body. So there are times when the medicine becomes ineffective. That is called as AMR. means the power of the medicine becomes useless in front of the bacteria or a virus or something like that that is called as antimicrobial resistance yani jo dawa ka asar hai wo khatam ho jata hai bahut sare karan hote hain there are lot of reasons why the medicine is not effective for a particular case uh, for a particular person and all and that is why we use the word antimicrobial resistance means the disease inside your body has developed a resistance against a medicine so even if you are taking medicine nothing is happening तो ये एम आर ये बहुत डेंजरस चीज होती है आ, कि अगर आदमी जो है वो दवा ले रहा है कोई फायदा नहीं कर रहा है हालांकि वो दवा जनरली फायदा करना चाहिए सो दैट इज व्हाट सो शी इज सोमिया सोमीनाथन फॉर्मा चीफ साइंटिस्ट ऑफ डब्ल्यू एच ओ एंड शी इज द डॉटर ऑफ वेरी फेमस पर्सन कैन एनी वन राइट डॉटर ऑफ 
फादर ऑफ ग्रीन रेवल्यूशन इन इंडिया ना फादर ऑफ ग्रीन रेवल्यूशन इन इंडिया वॉट इज इज नेम क्या नाम है फादर ऑफ ग्रीन रेवल्यूशन इंडिया में uh, उनका नाम क्या है तो बता सकते हो तो अरे इट्स वेरी फेमस एम एस स्वामीनाथन मिस्टर एम एस स्वामीनाथन है ना एग्रीकल्चरल साइंटिस्ट ही वॉज इंस्ट्रूमेंटल इन ब्रिंगिंग ग्रीन रेवल्यूशन इन इंडिया इन सिक्सटीज से ऑल है ना सो आपको पता होगा सोनी की बेटी जो है वो फार्मा चीफ साइंटिस्ट बनी है डब्ल्यू एच ओ में उन्होंने लिखा है यस रश्मिकांत वेरी गुड हाँ तो वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड इज इमर्जिंग फ्रॉम एक्यूट कोविड नाइनटीन पैंडेमिक द वेरी हार्मफुल इन विजिबल एम आर इज अनफॉर्चुनेटली हेयर टू स्टे ये बहुत दिन की प्रॉब्लम है बहुत दिन से ये प्रॉब्लम चल रही है forcing governments including india to respond with speed and accuracy the rapidly rising amr rates also needs an accelerated multi sectoral global and national response so according to her yes ms swan minathan correct hai vishal soya khan amulya you all are right uh, according to her the amr is rising very fast anti microbial resistance and there are lot of reasons i am giving you some reason kaise ye kaam nahi karta hai amr kaise dawa kaam karne kharab band ho jati one reason is biomedical waste जो ऐसे ओपनली फेंक दिया था ना ऐसे जैसे हॉस्पिटल का सामान है इंफेक्शन इंजेक्शन है रूई ऐसी फेंक दिया गया सो दिस एक्चुअली गोज इन साइड द सोयल एंड इट एक्चुअली डेवलप्स ए एम आर इन साइड द बैक्टीरिया एंड ऑल तो द सेकेंड थिंग इज मेडिसिन नॉट टेकिंग प्रॉपरली और इेशनल यूज ऑफ मेडिसिन ये मैं बताता हूँ कैसे होता है बिकॉज दीज आर एक्चुअली फॉर यू एज वेल देखो होता क्या है समटाइम्स लेट से द डॉक्टर टोल यू कि जैसे आपको कोई बीमारी हो गई ठीक है Let's say you are having some disease. Okay. Now you took uh, uh, you uh, the doctor told you to take antibiotics, antibiotic for five days. Doctor ne kaha apko five days ke liye antibiotic lene ke liye. Now what you did is ki you took two days and you realized ki you are now fine. So you left the medicine. But uh, and this will cause the next time when you will be using the same medicine, it will not be very much effective. And that is called as AMR. Understand? अगर डॉक्टर ने कहा पांच दिन के लिए दवा खाने के लिए आपने दो दिन में खा लिया दो दिन खाया आपको लगा ठीक हो गया तो आपने छोड़ दिया दवा कंप्लीट कोर्स पूरा किया जाता है कंप्लीट कोर्स यू हैव टू कंप्लीट है ना तो होता क्या है कि वो वायरस या बैक्टीरिया के बॉडी में रह जाता है वो फिर दोबारा पनप जाता है और नेक्स्ट टाइम वो दवा काम नहीं करती है सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज स्टॉक इन रैशनल यूज ऑफ मेडिसिन इफ द डॉक्टर टेल्स यू यू आर सपोज टू टेक मेडिसिन फॉर फाइव डेज यू शुड टेक इट फॉर फाइव डेज नॉट फॉर टू डेज और थ्री डेज यू शुड नॉट अप्लाई योर लॉजिक Because your logic will be dangerous here. Second, जो हमने बताया है, biomedical waste को इधर उधर फेंकने से not improper dumping of biomedical waste. There are other reasons as well. जैसे लोग बताते हैं कि there are lot of injections are given to uh, given to uh, uh, many actually animals to give more uh, actually milk. तो uh, उससे भी होता है. जैसे मान लीजिए कि injections are given to cows to produce more milk. ठीक है. अब आप वो आप दूध पी रहे हो. You are drinking that milk. So that also affects. ठीक है इफेक्टिव against the bacteria or virus or something like that hai na so like tb is there so mdr tb ek word use karte hain multi drug resistant tuberculosis multi drug resistant it means if someone is suffering from mdr tb even if he will take he or she will take multiple medicines first line of drug second line of drug still it will not be effective and that is very dangerous agar dawa kaam nahi kari body pe to bahut serious baat hai na so that is what you are supposed to know theek hai MMR adds to the burden of communicable disease and strains the health system of a country. ICMR study in 2022 showed that resistance in increased from 5 to 10 percent every year. Anna, so uh, she is quoting some research of ICMR that uh, uh, AMR keeps on increasing every year and all. So that is what uh, she is talking about. Muscat manifesto, uh, which talks about how to reduce actually AMR. How to spread it? Stop it. Anna, so giving uh, reduce the total amount of antimicrobial used in agri food system. Yes. जितना नेचुरल खाना खाया जाए उतना अच्छा है राइट सो द नेचुरल फूड यू शुड ईट दैट इज बेटर स्टॉप रिड्यूस ईटिंग जंक फूड्स बाहर का खाना कम खाए है ना सो डॉक्टर ऑलवेज टेल है ना रिड्यूस ईट द हेल्दी फूड्स लाइक फ्रूट्स एंड ऑल डो नॉट ईट टू मच ऑयली फूड्स एंड ऑल इलिमिनेट यूज इन एनिमल्स एंड फूड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एंटी माइक्रोबियल्स है ना 
सो so, जैसे बहुत बार एनिमल्स को इंजेक्शन वगैरह दिया था वो सब नहीं दिया जाए है ना देन यस दीज आर द थिंग्स एक्चुअली एंटीबायोटिक कंट्रोल यूज किया जाए एंड यू शुड कंप्लीट द कोर्स कंप्लीट कोर्स ऑफ एंटीबायोटिक शुड बी यूज अगर आपको एंटीबायोटिक दिया जाए पांच दिन का तो पूरा पांच दिन का खाइए है ना दो दिन में ना छोड़ दीजिए सो इ रैशनल यूज ऑफ मेडिसिन शुड बी स्टॉप सो दीज आर द रीजन एंड शी इज कोटिंग डब्ल्यू एच ओ है ना सो डब्ल्यू एच ओ सी इज रेसिस्टेंस टू सिप्रोफ्लॉक्सिन This is a disease. This is a medicine for, let's say, I think TB. I guess. No, E. coli. E. coli. के लिए. So she is saying that uh, this is a medicine for E. coli. Uh, the resistance varies from 8.4 to 9.92.9 percent. इतना percent तक जो resistance हो सकता है, यानी दवा काम नहीं कर सकती है. बहुत सारे केस में 93 percent तक काम नहीं करती है. So that is what actually uh, she is quoting some of the things and all. तो आपको बस एक AMR पता होना चाहिए. Anti-microbial resistance क्या होता है? MDR, TB वगैरह and all. She is quoting National Action Plan on Antimicrobial Resistance 2017-21 emphasize effectiveness of government's initiative for hand hygiene, sanitation and all. है ना? तो हाथ की सफाई होनी चाहिए, sanitation, cleanliness and all. Swaj Bharat Mission is there. There is a special mission for that. है ना? Cleanliness से ही तो related है. सफाई से related है. है ना? So these are the things you should be knowing about it. है ना? Uh, then she's talking about yes, G20 summit is going to happen in India and of course G20 health summit will also be happening. Spread to 2024, offer an opportunity for India to ensure all aspects of AMR are addressed and country committed to progress and all. So, but when you talk about that, that when the G20 summit ho, to usme bhi yeh sab cheeze ke baare mein discuss kiya jaye. She is talking about WHO's glass platform. Yeh pooch sakte hain. They can ask that WHO's glass platform is related with what? So, it is related with global anti-microbial resistance and use surveillance system. So, this is related with AMR to fight AMR, anti-microbial resistance. Is it clear? समझ में आ गया आप लोगों को होपफुली सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस करते जाना एवरीवन प्लीज प्रेस द लाइक बटन गाइस वी आर सीइंग 14 लाइक्स 26 इज वाचिंग सो सबको लाइक बटन प्रेस कर दो एवरीवन यस नाउ देन हियर इट इज अब चलो हम साइड में आर्टिकल चलते हैं ब्रेजन इंटिमिडेशन इंटिमिडेशन मतलब क्या होता है मतलब डराना है ना सो दैट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू द आउटर सो दिस इज द ओपिनियन ऑफ द हिंदू एडिटर्स सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द हिंदू एडिटर्स Uh, this is actually is they are talking about BBC raid income tax uh, survey in Delhi and Mumbai office. Uh, even yesterday also there were raids that were happening in the BBC office in Delhi and Mumbai, and employees were asked to work from home. WFH means work from home, so they are supposed not to come. They were told that you have to work from home. So there were allegations against actually uh, the uh, income tax related things and all, right? So that is what it is saying. But the author, according to the author of the Hindu, they are saying. He recently they came up with a documentary India the Modi question and because of which that is happening. Author के हिसाब से इस वजह से हुआ. So in fact at the world level also many international outlet covered in this way that Indian authorities raid BBC office after broadcast of PM Modi documentary and all. So that is why it was in the news. ये पूछा सकता है कि कौन सा rule use किया गया था block करने के लिए. Which rules were used to block the documentary in the social media. So that is called as IT Rules 2021 and Section 69A of IT Act 2000. Okay. So these are the two things that were used. These two things used kiya gaya tha. IT Rules 2021 or Section 69A of IT Act 2000. So that is what you are supposed to know it. Okay. These two things you should know because they may ask these questions. It is in the news. So that might be. Next is India Sri Lankan refugee need fair consideration. So he's talking about uh, he's the chief mission of UNHCR India and the Maldives, Mr. Oscar Mundia. And he is actually talking about the civil war that happened in actually Sri Lanka from 19, I think 83 till 2009. And in 2009, the civil war got ended. So that is what he's talking about. The civil war in Sri Lanka happened between 1983 to 2009. It was between which two groups? Sri Lankan government and LTTE, LTTE and IPKF. LTTE and UNPKF, uh, LTTE and NATO. Your time starts now. LTTE मतलब होता है Liberation of Tigers for Tamil Elam. IPKF is Indian Peacekeeping Force. UNPKF is UN Peacekeeping Force. NATO is North Atlantic Treaty Organization. क्या सही जवाब है आप बताइए. So the civil war actually it became very famous uh, from 1983 to 2009. The civil war means fighting within the two groups in the same country. अपने ही मुल्क में दो ग्रुप में लड़ाई हो गई. So that is actually was happening between the Sri Lankan government and LTTE. कोई बता सकता है इसका full form क्या है? LTTE can anyone write? What is the full form of LTTE? It is actually Liberation of Tigers for Tamil Elam. So basically it was 
हाँ तमिल ग्रुप है नॉर्थ का एंड हु वॉज द लीडर ऑफ एल टी टी ही गॉट किल्ड इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन योर ऑप्शन आर महिंदा राजा पक्ष आर प्रेमा दासा श्री मावो बंदर नायक वेल्लू पिलाई प्रभाकरण योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ एल टी टी के लीडर कौन थे एंड ही वॉज किल्ड आई थिंक इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन एंड दिस लेट टू एंड ऑफ एल टी टी एक्चुअली Yes, the right answer is option four or option D. Value Pillai Prabhakaran. D is the right answer to this question. Uh, so, just have an idea. He was the head or the founder of LTT, who was instrumental in the civil war and all. And in fact, uh, uh, there is, uh, I think, um, okay, that uh, there is a the lot of uh, authors have written that perhaps he was responsible for assassination of Rajiv Gandhi as well. So, a lot of actually uh, reports according uh, were there and all. Okay, fair. Yes, Kushi, Rashmi Khan, Devaraj, you all are right. Uh, so, and what has happened is after that, uh, the civil war ended. A lot of refugees, especially so Tamil people, were living in northeastern region of Sri Lanka. So many of the refugees actually came to India, especially in the state of Tamil Nadu. Okay, and that is what the author is talking about. इसी की तो वो बात कर रहे हैं. देखो, यहाँ देखो. So after the end of uh, the war, 2009, the war ended, civil war, and if you add 14 years, it becomes 2023. so that is what yes anushka bajpai that would be helpful for that as well right ha huh? it will be soon 14 years since the end of the civil war in sri lanka so that is what uh, the author is talking about ki 14 saal ho gaye hain and the three decade war uh, 1983 say if you calculate 2009 to lagbhag 30 saal ke aas paas to ho hi gaya the three decades se thoda sa kam so uh, devastated the once peaceful and prosperous nation so he is talking about that uh, the civil war that had happened in sri lanka and all तो उसी की वो बात कर रहे हैं एंड दिस लेड टू एक्चुअली रिफ्यूजी क्राइसिस मेनी रिफ्यूजीज फ्रॉम श्रीलंका हैड टू सेटल टू इंडिया एंड ऑल है ना सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द होम मिनिस्ट्री डेटा थ्री लाख फोर थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सिक्सटी नाइन एक्चुअली रिफ्यूजीज आर देयर इन इंडिया दैट इंटर्ड बिटवीन जुलाई नाइनटीन एटी थ्री टू अगस्ट टू थाउजेंड टूल्व सो दैट इज वॉट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द एंड ऑफ सेल वॉर रेन्यू द होप फॉर नेशन रेड आफ्टर इयर्स ऑफ एथनिक्स ट्राइफ एंड ऑल सो देर वॉज होप दैट ये थिंग्स वुड बेकअप बेटर एंड ऑल ठीक है ह्यूमन राइट्स लैंड सेटलमेंट ह्यूमन राइट्स लॉ एंड दैट इज व्हाट इज बीइंग टॉक्ड अबाउट बट यस इन रीसेंट इयर्स देयर वर सम सेटबैक वन इज ईस्टर बॉम्बिंग इन 2019 देन कोविड 19 बिकॉज़ एक्चुअली श्रीलंका वाज अ क्वाइट अ बेनिफिट इट यूज्ड टू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ बेनिफिट फ्रॉम टूरिज्म बट वंस द कोविड 19 हैपेंड द एंटायर टूरिज्म सेक्टर इज वाज गॉन फॉर ऑलमोस्ट 2 3 इयर्स एंड दिस अफेक्टेड श्रीलंकाज इकॉनमी टू अ लार्ज एक्सटेंट तो बहुत हेवीली जो है वो टूरिज्म जो है वो खत्म हो गया जैसे कोविड हुआ तो साइज जाहिर से बात है सारी टूरिज्म बंद हो गए सो दैट इफेक्टेड अ लॉट एज इन द लेटेस्ट वर्ल्ड बैंक श्रीलंका अपडेट पॉवर्टी हैज मोर देन डबल्ड ओवर द पास फ्यू इयर्स एंड पॉवर्टी एंड वनरेबिलिटी विल कंटिन्यू टू राइज विदाउट अप्रोप्रिएट सपोर्ट एंड ऑल हां तो वही बता रहे हैं कि पास फ्यू इयर्स में पॉवर्टी डबल हो गई है श्रीलंका में सो दैट इज अ वेरी सीरियस थिंग द पॉवर्टी गॉट डबल्ड इन फैक्ट इफ यू आर अवेयर ऑफ द न्यूज दैट इवन द इकॉनमी ऑफ श्रीलंका इज ऑल्सो नॉट इन अ वेरी गुड शेप दे आर इन अ वेरी बैड शेप एंड ऑल आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ दैट आई गेस इतना तो पता होगा बेसिक आप लोग को है ना सो देन द ऑथर इज ये टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट सेम रेफ्यूजी क्राइसिस तो हमने आपको बैकग्राउंड दे दिया है प्लीज गो एंड रीड इट आप अपने से भी अखबार पढ़ा करो आई एम नॉट सेंग जस्ट जो नाम पढ़ा दिया इतना काफी है जस्ट आफ्टर दैट रीड इट बाई योर ओन सेल्फ because it helps you understand in a more effective and uh, way i just help you in understanding hai na then in delimitation beta we had discussed it in yesterday's class that supreme court rejected the petition challenging the delimitation and all usko aap pad lijiyega kal ki class se so that is what is being discussed ki uh, actually the delimitation has been freeze till 2026 so in the entire india there will not be delimitation uh, or changing the boundaries till 2026 okay Uh, that is what is being mentioned but uh, since jammu and kashmir is a union territory this logic does not apply to this okay that is what the argument is okay so the in jammu and kashmir the delimitation would happen okay so i hope you are aware this is jammu kashmir union territory and this is ladakh union territory okay now judges and the lure of political jobs opinion page number 7 written by justice ap shah he is a former chief justice of delhi high court ex chief justice of delhi high court He has written an article about judges and the lure of political jobs. So actually, this is in this background uh, that Justice Syed Abdul Latif he retired as a judge of Supreme Court last year and he was appointed as the Andhra Pradesh Governor. So a lot of criticism happened from opposition side and all. Uh, he was in very important judgments like Ayodhya case, Triple Talaq case, demonetization case and all. 
and that is why uh, yeah, he should be uh, show himself to be neutral and all now why this is the criticism i'll tell you in a simple way they go okay okay so let's say the judges are sitting here and judges are supposed to be neutral absolutely now let's say in many cases one of the party is the government and let's say another party some other party x party matlab uh, political party nahi side hai na so let's say there is a person called x now a neutral judges are supposed to be neutral they should be passing judgment in favor of government or in favor of x according to the merits yani jo banda sahi hai jo merit pe hai us hisab se faisla sunana chahiye neutral judges ko now the problem is let's say for example uh, the uh, the judges have passed an order in the favor of government main example ke taur pe bata raha hu and that judge got retired and got a benefit from the government let's say he was appointed as governor now the people will question its neutrality his neutrality although he may he might not be biased he might he might be neutral but still i mean that might be questioned he says judges are supposed to be neutral they should not be taking uh, the post retirement jobs and this is a very famous quote by arun jetli that pre retirement judgments are replaced by post retirement jobs a lot of criticism had happened so that is what actually he is writing the former chief justice of delhi high court is writing uh, in context of appointment of justice abdul nazir as governor of andhra pradesh because he was in the important cases so even in the past justice p sata seva man justice ranjan gogoi had got the post like Ran justice ranjan gogoi he was the chief justice of india from 3rd october 2018 to 17th november 2019 and the moment he retired after few months he was given uh, the rajya sabha membership and that was actually withdrew a lot of criticism and all and recently these were the news which were coming in he had said that he would be raising the reason why he is taking this post the rajya sabha member is because he will be raising the issue of judiciary the parliament uh, but the reality is that he has not asked even a single question and his attendance is also very poor 29% so there are a lot of criticism happened against him so in fact in guwahati plus newspaper and all a former cgi's record in attendance is very low he had asked a zero question in 3 years which the teen saal mein bhi sawal nahi pucha hai then again justice p sata sivam he was the chief justice of india he was appointed the governor of kerala isi ki wo baat kar rahe hain so he's talking about these two justice sata sivam justice gogoi this has happened even in the past even during the time of jawaharlal nehru and others uh, we are not going in detail because there are lot of cases where even in the past even the congress government has also appointed for example justice mc chagla he was a very famous he was a chief justice of bombay high court from 1947 to 58 and then if you see it carefully after 58 uh, he was appointed dekho ab yahan se dekho 58 to 67 he was 61 he was ambassador of usa then from 62 to 63 if you see it carefully he was ambassador of uk then from 63 to 66 he was education minister and then from 66 to 67 he was foreign minister so he also got a lot of political uh actually posting after the, uh, being a judge similarly justice baharul islam i think his name uh, i am unable to recall and there are other judges also who had got this position now uh, there are lot of criticism counter criticism and all so one thing is two wrongs do not make one right people say ki if something has happened in the past it should not be happening today or something like that theek hai to ye the lot of debates are there on both the sides ki aapne bhi kiya hum bhi kar rahe to aap aapne bhi to kiya tha and all so there are lot of debates going on and all ठीक है, so just have an idea that is what he has written के इंदिरा गांधी और राजीव गांधी have done it too and all, so he has written justice A P Shah, ठीक है, मेरा कोई opinion नहीं है, ठीक है, I am not giving my opinion, so that is what actually he is writing, I am just explaining these things, कि these things have happened in the past, it is happening even right now as well, there are lot of support and criticism from both the sides, ठीक है, whatever side you can take, you you can take and that's your opinion, and I am not going to give my opinion, so these are uh, you can say you can understand like this. The government's behavior is hypocritical, according to the author. He is saying he he is quoting Arun Jaitley again. I have told you that pre-retirement judges are. Uh, 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 I have written this is the quote of uh, Arun Jaitley. Ah, chala gaya. Pre-retirement judgments are influenced by post-retirement jobs. So, if judge before right uh, retiring, if he is passing, if he or she is passing a lot of judgment in favor of the government, he might get the posting after uh, retirement and all. So, um, that is what the allegation is. Uh, so uh, they should avoid the judges should avoid taking the post retirement jobs but uska dusra aspect bhi hai there are lot of cases where only a former judge or a former chief justice is appointed for example nhrc chairman so if you want to become a national human rights commission chairman you are supposed to be a ex supreme court judge so inhi ko hi appoint kiya ja sakta aur koi scope hi nahi ngt chairman 
एनजीटी चेयरमैन इज सपोज टू बी ए फॉर्मर सुप्रीम कोर्ट जज तो उन्हीं को बनाया जाएगा ना और कहां से लाया जाएगा आदमी तो उसका काउंटर आर्ग्यूमेंट भी है लॉट ऑफ ट्रिब्यूनल्स वेयर द एक्चुअली देन देर इज कैट ट्रिब्यूनल इज देयर so the lot of tribunals where a former judge is supposed to take the post and that appointment is done by the government to uska ek counter argument ye hai ki to fir usko kya kiya jaye usko khali chhod diya jaye wo sara pad what should be done with these post should be should it be left vacant so there are lot of both the sides argument theek hai to aap apna bas itna idea rakhiyega just have an idea about that so then he is quoting the former cgi uh, the father of the current chief justice justice yv chandrachur said that the greatest danger in the judiciary lies within so it is up to the judges to protect the uh, actually the sanctity or uh, the respect of the court that is what you can understand fair uh, then there is a question on page number 10 indigenous aircraft vikrant will be operational by air and very 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 important now there is a question for you ins vikrant india's first indigenously developed aircraft carrier was manufactured by garden reach shipbuilders engineers cochin shipyard limited clasen and tubro mazagon dock shipbuilders limited Your time starts now. बताइए ये काफी ज़्यादा important है. Uh, I have highlighted many times the star market. क्या सही जवाब होगा इसका? हाँ, the right answer is Cochin Shipyard Limited. Yes, Shiv has answered it correctly. So two is the right answer to this question. Uh, ship. Uh, आप ये समझते हो ना? Aircraft carrier means the ship which can carry the aircraft. है ना? So yes, Amolya Raj, Rashmi Kant, Gargi, Priya Chavan, Shiv, uh, you all are right. B is the right answer to this question. ठीक है, पता होना चाहिए. Then we have discussed it in last class that Ladakh people are demanding six scheduled status. So go and read about it. है ना? इसको भी आप पढ़ लीजिए. Yes, B is the right answer. Pratham, Amolya, Rashmi Kant, Vishal, you all were right. Uh, then SC questions use of Paxo Act in Assam child marriage case. So in many of the actually uh, I hope you are aware recently it was in the news that Assam police arrested many people who were actually involved in child marriage, and they invoked Paxo Act Protection of Child from Sexual Offence Act. Now the Guwahati High Court actually uh, was not happy with this that uh, this should not be invoked and arrest should not have happened and all. So इसको आप थोड़ा सा एक बार पढ़ लेना कि क्यों why actually the uh, judge was not happy and all. This crackdown is causing a havoc in private life of people. Obviously, child marriage is a bad idea. We will give our view, but at the moment, the issue is whether they should be all arrested and put in jail or not. So, he is telling us that what is this? This is such a big crime. I mean, arrest should be done. Should it be done? Should it not be done? In what cases the arrest should happen? Uh, child marriage is not a good thing. Yes, that is what the judge has said. Uh, but uh, should uh, there be arrest and all or not? So, I think the judge were not actually happy with this. Let's go and read it once again. Just read it, Hana. then tripura election is happening i have told you so these are the three cpim say jitendra choudhary is there congress is sudeep roy barma is there tripura motha se brish uh, brish ya kehte hu de barma is there so these are actually the politicians manik sah is the current chief minister mr manik sah is the current chief minister of tripura theek hai so let's see uh, first the ele election comes total seats yaad rakhiyega 60 seats are there in tripura legislative assembly just have an idea so this is all about today's class please subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram facebook telegram and download the byju's exam prep app Thank you everyone thanks for watching have a nice day